It's the first time in 18 years that Democrats will have control over the state Senate. Senator Stephen Horsford was re-elected last night. He's been serving as the minority leader, but soon he'll take his place as the majority leader. As I learned his personal story, it's, it's beyond an American story what he has had to overcome. He's gone through some struggles himself with his family, with the area where he grew up as a, as a kid. He raised his uh, siblings. He took on an adult role because he had to. And then he moved into his own life. I have a beautiful family. I have three wonderful kids, uh, Benjamin, Bryson, and Ella. And I'm married to Sonia, and we've been married for nine years. Stephen's a wonderful dad, and I think that's what makes all of this easy. It all comes together. The care and passion that he has for his children and for his family translates into the work that he does in the community. Education opens the doors of opportunity, and it's what transformed my life, and it's transformed other people's lives, and, and it's what really matters. Stephen Horsford fought for students. He fought for parents. In my mind, he fought for a future in Nevada where people could complete their education and go on to becoming contributing members of society. Businesses are not going to come here unless there is a solid educational system that cranks out the workers, the future employees, future managers of those businesses. Stephen, I think, has a, a real keen insight and completely understands the needs of uh, private business here in Nevada, whether it's the gaming industry or the non-gaming industry. When there's a problem, uh, he puts everybody in the same room and says, work it out. Uh, and, you know, we haven't had that for a long time, uh, especially in a leadership position. I'm very privileged to uh, serve as the Chief Executive Officer of the Culinary Training Academy. He's the one that uh, supervised the design. He's the one that got the project funded. I, I will tell you, there's not um, a stronger advocate for working families than Stephen Horsford. Stephen Horsford has been real instrumental in getting our training program and others, the required funding to provide the training to the men and women that are looking for the jobs in renewable energy. I want to have a blueprint for how we grow a new green economy so that we have solar, geothermal, and wind development that's not just creating good jobs, but that's also helping us to reduce our energy consumption the momentum that we created in the 2009 session was historic. Two incumbent Republican state senators were defeated last night. Democrats now have a 12 to 9 edge over Republicans in the state Senate. Because of the role that I had played uh, in chairing the uh, Obama for America campaign here in the state, I had an opportunity to also uh, recruit and help elect uh, two additional members to the state senate which helped us take the majority for the first time in 18 years. We have an opportunity now to not only continue the majority but to have a veto-proof majority. I want to grow the majority of Democrats in the state senate from 12 to 14 so that we can continue to make the positive impact that we're making in the state of Nevada. Tourism. Transportation. Renewable energy. Healthcare. Education. Green jobs. There's just more good stuff to come with Steven.